Hey guys, I'm recording this video because many of you reached out to me asking for career advice when it comes to machine learning. Well, I cannot tell you how to lead your life or I can't even tell you what domain, what field fits you when it comes to machine learning because you are the one who knows what really interests you. Machine learning is everywhere. I mean, you can find a field that is uh, very much interesting to you that you can be passionate about five years, 10 years from now, because machine learning, like I just said, is everywhere. It's in life sciences, for example. If you want to really help, uh, for example, cure cancer, you want to understand the cellular structures, right? So that's, that's an area where you can get into, which means you need to learn about uh, how to handle images, how are images collected, what information are you looking, uh, you know, uh, or what needs to be segmented in these images. Uh, if you are uh, into sports, for example, if you love working with sports, then you can use machine learning to scout future superstars. You can look at analytics and you can just identify future superstars. You can work for uh, an organization, I don't know, FIFA or uh, whatever interests you, right? So you can, so machine learning is in sports, okay? And it's also in finance, as you know, right? I mean, if you, uh, if you want to forecast stock prices, of course, you need to have domain knowledge. You have to gain domain knowledge to understand or to be able to work in a specific field. Just gaining technical skills is not enough because that's the easy part. Anyone can gain technical skills by watching a bunch of YouTube videos. You can watch my YouTube videos, for example, if you want to learn about uh, uh, machine learning or image processing. Or if you don't like my teaching style, go ahead and find other videos where you can uh, learn about machine learning or, or, or go to Udemy or any of those online uh, courses, get a certificate. That is the easy part. The tough part is finding out exactly what you want to do in life that uh, you're passionate about. You don't want to work at a place where you look forward to Fridays because you get two days off. You want to work at a place where you're excited about, well, you enjoy the weekend, but you're excited about getting back to work and uh, doing things that you're passionate about. So for that, you should know exactly what you need to learn. So once you find a field that interests you, yeah, once you find a field, go learn a bit more about what does it take to be proficient in that specific field. For example, if you uh, want to be in uh, financial analysis, let's say stock uh, market forecasting. Now, you need to understand how stock market works. Why do prices go up? Why do prices go down? What attributes affect these prices? Yeah, that's the domain knowledge I'm talking about. And not just that, what existing techniques are out there that people are using and how can machine learning fit in? For example, for forecasting, time series forecasting, you absolutely need to know what autoregression is and what ARIMA model is and what, uh, uh, how can you work with these time series, right? I mean, there are many, like for example, ARIMA model. Go ahead and dig deep into what does it actually do. Of course, that's not machine learning. You can always jump onto uh, deep learning and LSTMs using those uh, for time series, but you have to know what the uh, current state of the art is, what people have been using for the last couple of decades before machine learning showed up. So you know how machine learning can be better or be more efficient compared to the traditional models. So you have to have a holistic understanding of the domain, existing tools, and how machine learning can make a difference. So when you go to an interview, you can effectively communicate all of this, and the interviewer also appreciates this, right? This is a way for you to let them know that you know what you're doing. And finally, if you figure out, okay, this is the field that you are interested in, even before you start learning your machine learning, you know, uh, any of those skills, go to a few of the company's websites in that specific field, Go to their jobs page, look for machine learning engineers. What keywords are they using? What type of people they are hiring or they're looking for? Do you have those skills? Uh, obviously at an early stage, you don't have those skills. So add them to the list, yeah? Go ahead and learn those skills, gain those skills because you have to do this at an early stage. After you put in a lot of effort in learning something, and then you are like, oh, I'm passionate about pharmaceutical industry. You go to their page and you know nothing about drug development. You know nothing about how they collect images on a microscope. Then, then that's, not, that's not going to work out, right? Then you need to put in additional effort. 
and you probably wasted all your time uh, learning about LSTMs and natural language processing and you're trying to find a job in pharmaceutical industry. This is not something you want to do. Find the domain in summary that you're interested in, identify some companies, learn about the skills that they're looking for, go ahead and write them down and focus on gaining these skills. Yeah, focus on gaining these skills first. Okay, so uh, please take some uh, time to do some personal introspection. Learn about what you need, what you, uh, you know, to, to fit into an industry that you're passionate about. And uh, gaining the technical experience is the easy part. Like I said, you can follow my channel for, uh, you know, for uh, Python videos. If you don't like my teaching style, go find whatever fits uh, the way you like to learn. But please don't waste your time learning things that uh, probably are going to be irrelevant for you anyway. And uh, final note, gain communication skills. In this time and age, where we live in a uh, globalized economy. Communication skills are extremely important. I guess I'll make another short video on what, what are the top five things I think are essential for a uh, entry level machine learning job. Uh, but uh, for now, let me just go ahead and end here. I really hope you found this to be useful. This is not one of my technical videos, but I just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. And hopefully some of them, uh, you'll find them relevant and useful in life in general. So good luck guys.